four-time Miss Olympia Jay Cutler. Welcome to my channel, Jay Cutler TV. And make sure to stay in tune with the newest and updated videos. Subscribe below, guys. Thank you so much for following along. <laughs> you me I said best your neighbor Jay. <laughs> He's like literally Rap gonna freak out. <laughs> They're li it's all of his friends. He's What's up, man? Brandon. He's in a fraternity, and they all they're all. Oh, they're all where are you going to school? Southern Utah University. Okay, nice. They're just. I was just in Provo the other day, um, actually. Is that little, where it is? No, it's closer here. Because like, I was at BYU, and there's another college like right next yeah, door. Yeah, no. Okay. Uh -uh. You know where St. George is? Yeah, of course, yeah. That's it's an hour away. Yeah, yeah closer, closer there. there. But they're all obsessed with you. And one time I told them and they were like, you're lying. I'm like, There's a no. guy that has a gym there that's like a big YouTube guy. He's in our industry. His name's Steve Cook. He has like a oh, gym I, culture yeah, or something. Yeah, in St. George. Or, yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, he just opened a gym up there. So. Oh, yeah, they talk about him. Yeah. Thanks, I appreciate yeah. this. I saw, yeah, I saw your brother. At the yeah. He came to the expo. He was in, like standing there with a cutler shirt. I'm like, yo, what's up? Well, now you can, if people don't believe you, you can just send to his channel and they'll be able to see this. I'm on your YouTube. And you were so screaming on your headset. <laughs> I know, man. I'm sorry. I'm you may want to bet them first. <laughs> Make some money. <laughs> Honestly, you don't believe me. Just careful. Don't wake Gio up. He's already up. And oh, he's up. And grumpy. <laughs> Thank you. I was really screaming, bro. Well, you were on the phone, and I think you thought no, no, they couldn't hear you. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks guys. Yeah, see you later. Appreciate you, man. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Morning walk the day after the Olympia. Yes. <laughs> what do you think of that? I think it was a great weekend. What do you think? Yeah, I think it was good, man. It was uh, successful, and uh, I'm happy for Sean. Uh, I think he'll do a great job as the new Mr. Olympian. Hopefully, I can help him some uh, along the way, some <laughs> some guidance a little bit. You know, I'm sure, <laughs> sure he'll ask me at some point. To, do you know, think he'll ask you? Well, maybe not with the video. He will. <laughs> I think he'll, I think he'll uh, bounce some stuff off me. I mean, all our champions have, and uh, the new guys coming up. I think it's great to get advice from someone that been there, done it. You know. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, you didn't really have that though. <laughs> it's not no, like you called Ronnie for advice. I kind of had to find my own way, but you know what's funny? Because when I was second for so many years, mm. like I kind of, kind of knew what the kind of game plan I wanted, and yeah. I was still in demand, even being second place. But I think being Mr. Olympia, I mean, it, it carries a huge weight on your shoulders. Yeah. And I think people don't realize that because you do get that much more busier. I mean, you were right there, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, the travel, you know, the expectations of staying in certain condition, although guys don't guest post as much, but mm -hmm. your hearing schedule gets pretty demanding. And trying to balance healthy friends and family is really tough to do. But I know. Man, it puts you at an elite level. Like, I can't explain to everyone that's watching this the emotions that run through when you win that stuff, that title. Especially dethroning, like, great champions like we both did. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I have nothing but, you know, happiness for these guys as they continue to succeed because succeed, that's the ultimate goal. And Sean told me back in 2012, you know, at this little restaurant at the Orlando Europa, he's like, you know, I said, what do you want to do? He says, I want to be Mr. Olympia. You know, at the time, I mean, he wasn't even a contender. So <laughs> he just started working with Chris. And I told him, I said, dude, he's, he's the best at what he does. And, you know, if you follow that game plan and you have a vision, you can achieve everything. But you got to act like it. Like, yeah. And although I don't agree, you know, in the past, what Sean did on stage, because I don't think he was... He's not an aggressive guy, but I know. he didn't have like that confidence. Like yeah. he walked with his head down. And this yeah. year was different, where he stood there like Mr. Olympia. He he carried himself. All his transitional things, where yeah, you know, I thought you know he was a little more relaxed in these other shows. You know, you don't have to go in there and and bump the guy. Yeah, and be and make faces and be aggressive. What I mean by aggressive is you have to have the poise in the stature of Mr. Olympia, you stand out there like I am the best without being cocky. And I think Sean 
anyone that's ever encountered with him, he's not cocky. No. Nor he will hit this title change him, and that's what a Mr. Olympia is all about. You know, going out and doing all the other great things. I mean, obviously, these guys look at what I do, and listen, it's just what I do. I mean, just because I do it doesn't mean that's what Mr. Olympia should do. I mean, we all find our own paths. Yeah. You know, Dorian was just a you know, super trainer. He would go, you know, win the show and then go disappear. Yeah. You know, he rarely showed up for guest appearances and stuff, but, you know, I mean, Lee Haney, I mean, he's been a huge ambassador. Oh, yeah. I mean, eight titles, but, uh, you know, of course, Ronnie was that hardcore guy, and he, he traveled around and did his thing, but yeah. Ronnie just had that humble approach. He didn't really get into verbal wars and stuff like that. And yeah. I think, you know, now Sean has that bullseye, but... You know, one thing I just want to say is, you know, he congratulated his team around him. Yeah. It makes me reminisce because I couldn't have done it with all the great support that I had. Yeah. Uh, you know, inclu including yourself, as you know. But, you know, he brought the title Gold's Gym Venice, which has been kind of cursed <laughs> as far as the Mr. Olympias. You know, Dexter's trained there, Chris Cormier, Flex Wheeler, Paul Dillette. Uh You know, it's it's cursed as yeah. far as winning the Olympia now you know I'm happy for him I'm happy for you know the people you mentioned Aceto Stanimal yeah uh, Psycho Fitness he's very good about his team and uh yeah. you know I watched him train remember we we did a lot of yeah you did a lot of footage on him we, you talked about him a lot you told me you saw Sean Poe's weeks prior yeah uh did I think he could do it listen if <laughs> Phil was at his best I don't think Phil could be beat but Phil didn't show up at his best, you know? Yeah. You know, he has a stomach issue going on. You know, that's what kind of, you know, I heard he was flat or Friday. I didn't see the show. Yeah. To me, last night, Phil looked great. It just, it, if they were looking at that stomach thing from the year prior, and this yeah. is just like what happened to me in seven and eight, yeah. okay? Yeah. One and six, came back in 07, had the shoulder infection, which knocked me on a controversial thing with Victor Martinez could have gone either way, right? Yeah. So they were looking in 08 for me to bring the package. Yeah. That was just to solidify, okay, this is Mr. Olympia. Yeah. I failed to do that. Dexter Jackson won. Okay, did I I came back Saturday night better. Too much ground I lost. Yeah. Friday night, Dexter beat me. Fair and square. Came back in 09. So really, you know what what defies a champion is not in all the victories. Because the victories are, you know, it's easy to stand up there and be the winner. Yeah. But when you come back time and time and time again, you know, this is this is one of those things. I mean, Sean's been knocking at the door. Yeah. You know, he's been second before. He's been third. Yep. He was fifth or something last year, fourth. Dude, it's not like he wasn't a contender. That was a long time coming, yeah. And, uh, you know, Rammy didn't step up to the plate. Bonick was, you know, not a hundred percent yeah and phil definitely uh you know lost his edge a little bit so sean opened the door you know walked right through it and uh he was no oh well he this guy was off for that you know sean was the best that day we're only as good as who we stand next to at that time right so yeah i think uh you know i think he's gonna take a while to sink sink in but you know the fans are gonna respect sean a lot more now yeah uh, I think it was exciting. The whole place stood up. You saw what happened. I mean, if anyone didn't get to see the videos, Ugh. the place stood and listened. Exploded. You know? Yeah. Because they were happy. And to be honest, you know, I, I stood up and I cheered for, for Sean because I know what it's like. It's I have to show respect to all the champions. And, uh, you know, no matter who I favored or didn't, yeah. you know, and everyone knows in the beginning, you know, I passed the title to Phil Heath. Uh, you know, the guy won it seven times, man. Unbelievable, you know? yeah. I mean, hard Schwarzenegger's record. Didn't didn't tie with Coleman yet. Yeah. You know, next year's another year. Yeah. Uh, but we'll see what happens. You know, I think I think Phil can come back and challenge, but Sean may hold it for a minute. You know. Yeah. But let me let me tell let me ask you something because I spoke with Jim Mannion backstage about that, and that was very very important, I think, to. Because everybody, you know, on Friday, I think everybody was saying, my God, Sean really brought it. He's gonna, but a lot of people were like, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It feels going to win. He's the champ and he's not going to lose. And, you know, so I think the fact that they made such a big change, especially 
at that record tying <coughs> Olympia just like with you and Coleman and to actually take it away from Phil and give it to Sean who I felt really deserved it says a lot about the IFBB and, and the fact that it's they, they made the right call they did what they had to do which was a big it was a big deal last night and I told him I said this was a tough call but it was the right call I feel yeah. So it just gave a lot of credibility to back no, to the IBB. It did, it did, but it's just like I said, bro. I mean, he <coughs> wasn't a hundred last year. Yeah. You know, you you get a little bit of a, a swing when you're the champ. You know, it's you're gonna get some leeway. You're yeah. gonna get some, yeah. you know, respect uh, by the judges. This, yeah. This, dude, you earned it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, granted, you know that he had. You know, Phil had to come back with something different. And yeah. the problem is, two years in a row, he had a stomach issue. Yeah. Okay, so if you have something that you you ha you can't fix when you said you were going to fix it. Yeah. That that's. Yeah. That was it, you know. Yeah. And uh, I think that's what Phil ran into. I mean. Yeah. Although he, I think he was a little flatter Friday night, from what I hear, I heard he was a lot fuller on Saturday night. Listen, I was a Saturday night guy too. Yeah. Whatever I'm saying isn't irrelevant. Uh, irrelevant to what I did. Yeah. I mean, I was always better Saturday. Yeah. I never came into Mr. Olympia consistently better and better. I think all the champs do that, and I think you know his record speaks for itself. He just happened to be better than everyone else. Yeah. Uh, but Sean put together the best package ever. I mean, the age factor. I mean, just goes to show. Forty-three, man. Yeah, forty-three. I mean, wins best Olympia. ever. And I think I think he tied. I think Chris Dickerson was 43. Sounds about right. First. Yeah, yeah, right. 82. So, uh, I mean, look at Josh Wade, 46. How great he looks. No, nah, I mean, it. Your bodybuilding is. It's not an age thing. I mean, Dexter's defying odds. Right. I think Dexter would be back. You know. Yeah. Rami was a disappointment. You know, he's just too big. He needs to just stop this. I and, know. I know. So if he watches this, you know, he just needs to come in tighter, man. Screw yeah. this 300-pound shit. He has plenty of muscle. Know? So, yeah. you know, I think he, I think Roly Winkler is a future Mr. Olympia. Wow. I see it. Uh, I think he's the biggest challenge to uh, Sean next to Sean next year because of his size. Bonnick, of course, can still be in there, but yeah. as far as the size thing, I think you know he can overwhelm people. You know, he's a people's champ. Yeah, you do love him. Uh, yeah. If I was him, I'd. I'd go win the Arnold, you know, in Ohio and move on to the next, you know? Yeah. So. That's awesome. I think uh, I think we saw a great show. The expo was decent, you know, it was good. We had a lot of good response there. Yeah. We launched a new Alpha Prime clothing brand. and. Can you talk about comments. that for a minute? Because obviously you still have Cutler Athletics, but that yeah. Alpha Prime, is, that's new. So talk about yeah, that for a second. Yeah, you know, I got involved. Um, with a company based in Florida um, called Alpha Prime and uh, Caesar actually he's involved with uh, the race team of Ferrari mm. and uh, you know we had the Ferrari race car there and some other uh, celebrities but uh, that's more of a quality clothing line as far as like uh, at like not not it's active wear but a little bit more dressy yeah no it's not dressy but uh -huh. it's just you know it's just better you know better quality of you know, I'm doing more t-shirts and, uh, yeah, yeah co like workout stuff and things mm -hmm. like that. But this is more like, you know, chasing more of that dry fit kind of look. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That you can basically wear as a, a lifestyle brand. Mm -hmm. So kind of puts it, you know, in a different arena. And I think, you know, that was, this is our launch here. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so we got a huge response from that. I think it was successful. Atomics, of course, you know, yeah. Sheik, I got my belt line with them. That's doing extremely well. Yeah. And uh, I got to stop over and see my, my friend Sean at Ford FX, who's, he's a huge bar manufacturer. Yeah. Uh, so I spent some time there, but man, uh, you know, just a, another great weekend. And you know, this week I'm off to Ireland and Germany and yeah. I go to Italy and then I'm in Prague. So finish up the year and you know, we'll be back together in San Diego for the Fit Expo the end of October. October, but until then, I mean, I'm in Michigan. Uh, I go to Brazil on the 20th, and then I come back, and then we're in San Diego for a few days, and then into November, my show is the third in Massachusetts. So, boom, excited about that. But just to recap a little bit, I mean, 
I got a lot of great fan response. You know, it's awesome. I was dressed up last night taking pictures in the auditorium. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> congratulations, Robin Chang, AMI. Oh, yeah. Great Jim job. Mannion. It's good to see Jim last night. Yeah. Uh, I know he uh, he's excited about the future. You know, it's of course new champion and all that. So, yeah, it's awesome. Thanks so much, Jay. Well, stay tuned, guys, because uh, we're still doing it, man. And hopefully we'll get some of these personalities you guys seen for the first time at this uh this olympia we're just gonna keep plugging away at this channel yeah please keep spreading the word and keep sharing these videos and we thank you guys for continuing to support it yeah thank you so much